<laughs> Please welcome Ivan Amalutovich, everybody. Yes, yes, we can. It is lovely to see you. You look great. Thank you. You look really lovely. You got all the. Oh, yes. This it's all is, working. This is, this is just for you. Really? It won't fit me, but thanks for bringing it. <laughs> How are you? How have you been? I'm it... really, really good. Thank you for asking. No, oh, help yourself. <laughs> I'm very touchy-feely. Sorry, sorry. No, that's all, that's all right. I, I'm touchy-feely too, but there's the whole restraining order thing. <laughs> All right. Tell me about the witless protection. Is that Larry the Cable Guy? Yes, my good friend Dan he's Whitney. Hilarious, he's hilarious, that so, guy. He's so awesome. I know. I love him. He's so warm and cuddly and fuzzy and wonderful, and I love him and his whole family. I don't whole know his family. whole family, but when he was here, he was very yeah. nice. He's quite like a bear. Yes. The way I imagine if a bear was sort of friendly and wore a hat. That's, exa <laughs> that's exactly what he's like. He's you ever met a bear in real life? Never. No, no, no. Never. Never. Not a real one. No. I'd be scared of them. They're pretty, they're pretty ferocious. Yeah, and yet they look adorable. It's like nature's trick. Ah, you know, they look adorable when they're tiny, but then they grow up and they're pretty, they're not so cute if you really look at their face. No, I've never It's like been butterflies. There. Yeah, is that the same with, la like, butterflies? Yeah, because butterflies are really beautiful. You've got their wings, and I love bugs, but then right. when you look at them really close, like, you look at their faces, and they're really hideous creatures. But they get, they get, they get this, like, amazing rap, like, oh, we're beautiful butterflies. Yeah, yeah. Not when you look at their face real close. See, that's what happens to guys when they see women with really big boobies. <laughs> Thank you. It's the exactly. truth. Exactly. Because by the truth. time they look up, they're like, oh, what yeah, happened? It's like, it doesn't matter if you just go, oh, boobies, boobies, yeah. boobies, boobies, boobies. Boobies, then you look up, it's a guy smoking a cigar. You're like, it's too late. You totally get it. I do. I totally get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So listen, tell me about Larry the Cable Guy working with him. Was it was it fun because he seems like such a nice man? He when is. He, was here. he is so down to earth, and and that's the way I like to work too. Like, did we, you hang? Did you? We hang did. With him? We went to we went to uh, Wisconsin. His wife and I and his little baby Wyatt and his bus driver JD. A baby Wyatt. That's the name of that's the baby. His, that's his baby son. All and right. Now he's got like a the, new one, right. a new little daughter named Reagan. We went to Wisconsin, and I've never been to Wisconsin, and we went. We went fishing on the pontoon on the lake. Oh, how lovely. I'll have you know, yeah, and, I, and I'll also have you know that I caught nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> I, I, um, I did catch some seaweed. That's, that's, that's true. Seaweed And we in were Wisconsin? listening to, we were... Well, whatever, whatever, what, lake weed. All right. Grass. Vegetation. I only caught vegetation. All and right. we, were, we were sitting there on the pontoon, and, and we were listening to Ted Nugent. It was like a really good you experience. You were smoking marijuana. I was not. You were. I was not. You were. If you're on a boat and you're listening to Ted Nugent and there's a guy with no sleeves on his shirt, <laughs> somebody's smoking marijuana. Do you like Ted Nugent? Um, I just like to go hunting with the Nuge. Yeah. Up yeah. in the UP. Oh, really? I have no idea. He's from that. Michigan, the Upper Peninsula. That's where he lives. And How goes, come you know all never this mind. stuff? Because I'm from Michigan. Oh, right. Well, well, originally, though. Yeah, well, no, no, no. Originally, I was, you know, from Bosnia, but then I was raised in beautiful Michigan. Oh. And now I live in wonderful Los Angeles. Hey, did you, uh, did you uh, ever get any cheese when you were in Wisconsin? They yes. Cheese. Really? Not only did I get cheese, ladies and gentlemen, I got cheese curds. Fried cheese curds. What are cheese? I don't know what cheese curds. I don't know either. It oh. is a it is a mystery wrapped up in a conundrum. Hello. Yeah. It's kind of probably like what Miss Moffat ate on her curds, curds and quay, but I never I never got that. That's like from the olden times, and then popped back up in Wisconsin. Cheese curds. I'm gonna try some. Do they have any? I'll get some flown in. Get it. Fry them. Fry them. Make sure they're fried first. I was gonna grill them. It might, it might be healthier that way. You're right. Really? That's heart smart. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm nothing but heart smart. <laughs> hey, now, you're, you're quite a foodie, aren't you? Your parents yes. are, are foodie people, aren't they? Yes. Did oh, you? yeah. That's, that's the whole thing of my culture is like you, like food is love. You eat, you, you, you feed love. Oh, I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's just my job. They, it's just my job. I'll, I'll have you know. I'll have you know that my parents have moved here from Michigan recently, as of late, the past two years, and they have opened a restaurant right down the street in Beverly Hills. What's it called? Roxbury Cafe. Uh, it's my favorite cafe. You do not know that. Will you please? It is so delicious, you guys, for all of you who live here or who are visiting Los Angeles. If you call, you'll hear my mom. She'll be like, Rook's Booty Cafe. And she'll always take your order. We have beautiful, delicious burgers. Is this an infomercial? It could be. Sorry. But it's really good food. I just don't want to deprive you guys of this experience because they're always there. They will serve you. And when do you when do you get to an opportunity like that, especially in Los Angeles, to go to a delicious mom and pop shop? You tell me when, where, I'll go. You know, you're right. I, I feel such a fool. What's it called again? Roxbury Cafe. Roxbury Cafe. You might have to listen to everybody. We'll be right back.